something we've all seen from doctors' offices to restaurants, perhaps schools, stores. Certainly, we've seen worker shortages just about everywhere. And now we might know why. As WBZ's John Keller shows us, it's not necessarily because people don't want to work anymore, it's that they just don't live here anymore. Massachusetts has had the luxury for a long time of thinking people will come here. But according to this new study from the Massachusetts Taxpayers Foundation, that has become wishful thinking. Declining birth rate, um, an aging population, less international immigration, it, it, it's all coming to a head. And people are voting with their feet. The study found we're hemorrhaging residents. 46,000 last year alone, more than a full house at Fenway Park, while the other New England states are all holding steady or growing. We all have the same weather. Connecticut and Rhode Island are high tax states. How is it that we got, got the short straw on that bar graph? Well, that's the $64,000 question. Speaking of dollars, when employers can't find workers, it hampers growth, spurs inflation, and makes a key Massachusetts drawback, the high cost of living, even worse. People are more sensitive to relative cost differences. So if the cost in Massachusetts are much higher than North Carolina, and you have the option to live there and still get a good job, I think people are choosing to do that. Yes, weather is a factor too. And while the incoming governor can't change that, this report suggests she'll have to find ways to lower housing costs, clean up our transportation mess, and boost the workforce with better training and more retention of older workers. We're going to have to work a little harder in making sure that we attract people and we retain people. And, and I think it's a mind set shift that's really going to be important. Hmm. In terms of mindset, John, it's interesting. We've always thought of ourselves as an exceptional place, the Athens of America, yeah. right? But it's not that people aren't working, but the competition has grown stiffer. The, the uh, hub of the universe, that right. was another way we used to refer to ourselves. Look, Paul, not so long ago, Bostonians would laugh at the idea of a comparable arts or restaurant scene in another city, but it's no laughing matter anymore. Uh, the notion that we have more intelligent, innovative, people than other regions no longer holds water either even I hate to say this don't email me even our sports dominance is fading at oh. least in some quarters but there's still plenty to love about Massachusetts this study though shows how we've got to up our game mm. to keep workers here and we've got to do it fast got to keep going John Keller thanks so much Chris